So anyway, this is Larissa Castle. On the hill climb now to Larissa Castle. We've survived what I think was the worst pothole I've ever seen. It was very smooth, but it was also, yeah, about a foot deep. It was terrifying. And I don't think this castle is very um, sort of tourist attraction-y, so I don't, I'm not expecting to see anyone else while I'm up here, to be honest with you. Switchbacks now. Oh, there's one person. I'll just wait for them to come down. Oh, there's another person. Okay, maybe it's not as uh, unheard of as I expected. Oh, God, this wind! It's so hard to keep a nice line around the corner because you think you've got it and then suddenly you get a big burst of wind. Right, I don't really need this sat-nav anymore. Let's turn that off. Right, let's see how close we can get to this castle, I suppose. Oh, and it's so windy. Oh, it's so windy, it's so annoying. It's so hard to keep a nice line, especially on the corners. You might think I'm doing a bit of a weird job on the corners, but look at this. So this is Larissa Castle uh, in a place called Argos. And again, it's obviously just ruins now, but can you imagine what that place was like when it was fully built? We're climbing high really quickly as well. So let's just see how high we can get. There's no one coming. Let's just see how high up this hill we can go. Brilliant, it's flattening out now. We must be pretty much at the top. Oh, look at this for a view. Oh, there you go, car park. Perfect. Yeah, I think this is as high as up as you can get, really. It's windy. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't particularly flat, that bit I'd chosen. I should do better. at Larissa Castle, which is in Greece, and we're just on the top of the hill that takes you to Argos, not the department shop. If you enjoyed that drone footage now, let's go and have a look at this castle itself, shall we? Well, we've just made it to the south outer enclosure, and uh, not these modern metal ones, but the original gate was here, and there was a passageway that led you from there to there. And again, I've got it 
all to myself, which was absolutely lovely. Let's just clamber back up here. So I was just looking around and I found this chapel. Now this is the chapel of St Mary and this was made in the 12th century. So you can still see bits on the wall that somebody obviously thought very hard about and made. So it looks crumbled now, but I can imagine back then it must have looked brilliant. So let's try and get this on film. So here's like a sort of curved bit and they've got very curved rocks. And then that's obviously where the altar would have gone, I think. And then this sort of bit in the wall, I think that's mainly fallen down and just down there now, but you can just see little details. If you look up here, you can just see little notches um, just around here. You can just see little notches. And I imagine that would have been like a plinth or maybe a big image would have hung there because it's, it's so perfectly flat in comparison to the rest of the wall. So there must have been some sort of picture hanging on there. This is what I think is a fireplace because the floor must have been here. So I think that's a fireplace because of the arch on the top of it and it's been bricked up since. But I imagine that would be a fireplace because it's round. And then yeah, there's the altar with its sort of curved, curving in bit. And again, someone had to make that, you know, it's pretty cool. And then just round here, there's not much more to see to be fair. It just sort of dips down under the wall, but you can just see little hints that somebody really thought about something. Here we are. Brilliant. And just there's the wall up there as well, so this must have been like a defence tower. It's not very well uh, labelled on the map of the place, but this must have been sort of defence posts. I mean, what a view to have. Amazing. Well, there we go that was Larissa Castle and that was well worth seeing and uh, I had it all to myself there's only a few people around but in the main courtyard so I was just on my own for quite a long time so that was absolutely lovely and there's an amazing view over there now it's a bit muggy and there's quite a lot of clouds but I am getting quite hot now so anyway we're gonna head past Napfilo but I don't think there's much to do there so we're gonna go via Napfilo have a little look and then we'll go up and uh, we'll head towards Corinth. So I think by the end of the day, if we can be finished in Corinthia, that'd be perfect. And then I'll decide to either get a hotel in Corinth or continue to Athens and uh, get a hotel in or near Athens. So we'll just see what it's all like, but uh, let's go on a bit further. Okay, so we're just gonna get on the road now. I'm gonna head about 42 kilometers to the ancient theater of Eschidus, Ecridorius, something like that. Uh, the ancient theatre of Apsclilion. So I have no idea how to say it and I'm butchering the pronunciation, but uh, we've got about 50 minutes. If I see a nice cafe along the way, I'll stop there. If not, I'll, I'm just gonna carry on straight over to the ancient theatre, but it's massive by the looks of it. Massive by the looks of it. And uh, I'm really excited to see my first big original Greek theatre. So let's get on the road and uh, get some air flowing. All over me. When I was actually in the castle, right up high, you can really feel the wind nice strong up there. So uh, who knows what the drone was having to battle with, because I've never sound, I've never heard it sound so like it was struggling, but it was like it was constantly running all the different motors, which of course it is to keep itself roughly in position, but no, that was drifting a lot. Uh, just in front of me is a monastery as well. But I didn't know how they feel about flying drones near it, so I avoided it, but I'm sure you can spot it on the footage. But uh, yeah, what a great place for it. So we're just heading down now, and again, there's quite a steep descent, really. And uh, then we'll head over to the ancient theatre of uh, Apsclion. No, that's not how it's said, but there you go. So we'll head down to the ancient theatre of something something. There it is, there's the castle. Yeah, there's one thing they could do with, and that's a uh, bit of road improvements. That's that done. Fantastic Larissa Castle. Really well worth seeing. If you're in your area, please add Larissa Castle to your list. 
Just going to wait for this car to pass because I think I need to go wide on this corner. There we go, that's better. Brilliant. Right, let's carry along. If we see a nice cafe, I shall stop at it. Right, apparently there's petrol just here. Yeah. That'll do. Perfect. Uh... Yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There we go, 167 miles to a tank uh, before I'd even hit the 3 litre 20 mile reserve. So that was 26 euros for 12.5 litres, so a bit pricey. But there we go. Uh, yeah. No, this doesn't feel right. Yeah, no, this is feeling very wrong. This is feeling like I'm just doing a massive loop round. Yeah, I'm going to turn around when possible. The size of some of them as well. Look, check this out. Oh, oh, no, look, there they are. So they around. Oh, don't they look perfect? Amazing. Look at these bad boys. They look juicy as anything. Right, there's a dog. Please don't jump out or chase me. I hate dogs, why can't... I hate dogs like that, why can't they just go away? Right, let's get back on this road. And, uh... we we'll give it 10 kilometres. And then I'll get the uh, Google Maps out. And we'll just type cafe and I'm sure it'll bring something up. There's another petrol station in 2.1 kilometres, but a good job I wasn't waiting for that one, because that was clearly very very a long time that was clearly very old and a long time ago probably sold petrol there was a sign there that had a photo of a coffee on it but I don't really know but look at these roads oh they flow so nicely and this really does feel very Greek strangely Italian as well with the uh, long sort of Tuscan style trees, but there you go. Right, 500 meters, petrol station, let's see what they've got. Uh, oh, there's a tavern. Okay, there's food down there, right. Let's go and have a look at this petrol station. See if it's got a shop attached to it. It's only in the 350 meters. If it doesn't, I'll use it as a place to turn around. And I'll go over to the Taverna. Let's have a quick check. Uh, no, it's only got drinks. Yeah, it's only got drinks. And that is a restaurant, but it's shut, no worries. Right, next right. There's a next right there was a sign for a restaurant and it did say all day open. So it's not that one, it's this one here. So I'm sure even if they could just whip me off a panini or a sausage or something. Yeah, Taverna. Right, let's give this place a go.
This looks good. There's a few cars outside it. It might indeed be open. Let's go and see what's going on. Yep, yeah, there's a man. There's Luigi. Oh yeah, this'll do. Right, somewhere to park here. Perfect. Yeah, this'll do the job. Welcome back. Wow, that was the greatest lunch I've had in ages. I was not expecting that at all. That was so good. So much better than my original plan of just a sandwich from a petrol station. Brilliant. Oh, that was just what I needed. I can't believe some of these cafes as well, they're so cheap. Oh look, we've got a motorcycle gang. Oh, this is the bunch from the cruise, I think. I think that's the bunch from the cruise, actually, because it's a very similar bunch, and they're all in Italian number plates. Boy, they're fast. Yeah, that lunch was just what I needed, and that whole thing came to only 14 euros. So I had two massive sausages and some chips, and a big block of feta cheese, and some bread, and uh, two Fantas because they didn't have any water. Yeah, they didn't have any water, it was only Fantas. So here we go, let's catch these guys up. This is, uh, I think, let's just have a quick peek at their number plate, but I think if it's Italian, yeah, it's a single eye. These are the guys from the uh, cruise. <laughs> well, we're all on this road for 16 kilometers, so here we go. Absolutely brilliant, what a surprise. I was not expecting to see these guys again. What a small world and two Fantas because the only water bottle they had was this enormous brick of a water bottle. It was huge! And I said, have you got anything smaller? And he was like, no. And I was like, I don't really want to drink five litres. So here we go, just out with my Italian friends. And you know, actually, I would be interested in a guided trip. I've sort of slagged them off before and said it's just for a bunch of old people, but actually, having done all this on my own, I can only imagine how fun it would be to, to have someone to laugh around with, because although, although this is enjoyable, yeah. It would be cool sometimes to have someone to talk to, but then I talk to you guys, but it's a very one-way conversation. We can't share this together until well, whenever I release this video, but it'll be quite a way out. But it is great to see them again, it's very nice. And also, probably to them, a bit of a surprise. I'm sure I'll see them again. But... Welcome back. Now, you might think, oh, Jack's got some new friends. Yeah, a bit surprising, isn't it? I met these guys on the ferry, and they're on an Italian guided trip from uh, Italy round Greece. And uh, just as you saw, I just pulled out of that cafe, and uh, here everyone is. They are fast. There's no way I could do 10 days with these guys. You definitely need a screen to keep up with this slot. Alright, just pop her in here. I'll do the job. Brilliant. Right, let's go and have a look at this theatre, shall we?
we're just here at the ancient theatre of Epilidugadu, something like that. Anyway, we're just here at the ancient theatre of Aspigalon, and uh, I got in for six euros, half price, because I'm a, a youth. So, because I'm 24, I count as a youth from a non-EU country, so I get a discount, which is fantastic. So hopefully soon we'll see the theatre, and uh, we'll see who's around, see if I can get away flying the drone. I doubt I will be allowed to, but I'm looking forward to seeing it anyway. So let's go and have a look at the theatre. Well, here we are. We are here at the ancient theatre, and it's absolutely be it's absolutely amazing to be here at where theatre began, really. And uh, considering I work in theatre, I absolutely love seeing this. This is so cool. There's a Roman. There's a Roman theatre in St Albans near me, but it's nowhere near as good as this. This is amazing. Let me just show you around here, but the acoustics are incredible. They've just dropped a penny down there, and I heard it. And it's absolutely amazing to be here at where theatre began. And considering I work in theatre as a technician, this is like my livelihood, really. So it's so nice to see the original place and uh, learn a bit about the history. Of course, there's no lighting here. The way they would have lit this, if they did have lighting, would have been big sticks that were on fire, but there's no evidence uh, anywhere really to support the idea that they had like big sort of lantern lights or anything like that. So really, uh, I think it was only natural lighting here and uh, there was no evidence of any lit wooden sticks being used in, the, in this theater to light it uh, into the evening. So I would imagine they would do the show before it would get dark. And of course in the winter, no one would wanna be sitting out here. So it's absolutely amazing to be here. And the acoustics are fantastic as well. That's how all these kids sound so loud. They're actually quite quiet, but look, he's only shouting down there, but you can hear him like he's next to you. Anyway, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna walk over there for a bit of a different view. Although, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. And uh, yeah. It's absolutely amazing to see this. Right, quick snap, and then we'll move around. back how exciting was that now they weren't very happy about me flying the drone but i took off from the field at the back which they don't own and they don't own the airspace and then everything you saw that looked like i was quite close that's all done on zoom that's all done on the zoom of the camera so uh, at no point was i ever to within 200 meters of any point of that building so there you go I was just about to leave and loads of bikers turned up and it's clear BMW is the king of touring unstoppable nobody can have a little taste people can have a little taste of it you can attempt to make up your multistrada and things but I genuinely believe BMW it's the king yes the bikes go wrong sometimes but all motorbikes go wrong but every single person I've seen on a tour has been on a BMW of sorts no one else in an R9T but uh Having ridden these bikes, I know how great they are. Anyway, let's get on the road and uh, I'll tell you where we're heading now. Now, I'm not gonna start it just yet because there's a dog that keeps running up to all the vehicles and barking and it runs it's a pretty keen dog i think it's a stray i don't think anyone owns it but i'm just going to try and start the bike try and be as stealthy as i can here i'm literally going to start the bike and gun it it's all the way over there at the moment so i might get away with it but anyway let's head off yeah it doesn't care it's just that green car it really doesn't like right that's all the BMW bikes. Clearly we are 
BMW, the king of touring. So, let's get on the road. I thought the Italians were fast. Blimey, these Greek people, they bloody fly along. They're obviously confident there's no speed cameras around here because I think we'd all be probably in prison. Oh yeah, I might just make it to the hotel with enough battery. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. And all these orange groves. There's so many oranges as well. That's lovely. See, random people at the side of the road. Look at all those oranges. Oh, I'd love to just take one, to be honest. Oh, Greek art, yes. My mum really likes pots, and I told her I'd buy her a pot, so uh, I'm on the lookout for something small that I could wrap up and stuff with socks. There we go, right, it's somewhere around here. This is looking like an absolute gem. It's got everything we need. Good doggy, well done. Rent rooms, no thanks. Oh. Okay. Unless it's very rural, I've got a funny feeling it's not gonna be... Oh, I've reached my destination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom Tom merely makes me laugh. This is it, apparently. Yeah. Not quite. Um, right. Peloza, which I think is this. Yeah, Petite Planete, that's the one. Small planet. Uh, yeah, this is a rest, this is it, this is a hotel. Go see if they've got any room at the inn absolutely brilliant and uh, I'll put the name of the hotel here but it's Hotel uh, Petite Planet basically and uh, it's near Corinth uh, it's near Corinthia and uh, just above uh, the ancient theatre of Askiblablabla anyway here we are and uh, yeah the pool isn't full up for it the swimming pool won't be open for another two days which is pretty standard around here I think first of May is the start of the tourist season here in Greece and uh, so the pool won't be open for the swimming pool won't be open for another two days, which is a shame because the dip would be the perfect way to end today. Um, but the restaurant is open and uh, crucially there's a bar. I'm still full from those sausages, but I could go down for a little salad or some chips and some beer, I reckon. So anyway, but look at this. I paid uh, 45 euros for the room, including free parking. And then it was an extra six euros for breakfast. So yeah, it's fantastic. Really great staff, really fantastic English. And it's lovely and quiet as well. But Check this out for a view. Amazing. Right. Sadly, they do have a washing machine, but they don't have a dryer. So uh, I'm just debating whether to risk it or just do a basic sink wash. But I think I'm just gonna risk it and just hope things will be dry enough. So yeah, I'm gonna go down with some laundry. See you soon. Also, I should say this isn't sweat or weird bronzer. This is sun cream. So that's why I look all sweaty. This sort of shine and gloss is uh, sun cream. So there we go, right, let's get some laundry on. Okay, the door. And then we've got the bathroom here, very good. And then the bed here, and a standard mirror and stuff. And then out onto the balcony, this is where the magic is. Look at this. 